Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And a card just flew out. But anyhow, um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Um, it's being recorded on the 13th. So you could say if you really got to have a date, the 13th through the 20th. But if you were really spiritually open-minded, you'd understand that timing is fluid. But anyhow, this card just flew out. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Maybe you've already found it and you just haven't uh, taken action towards it. On the bottom of the deck, a period of ill health or depression. So I don't know if that's what's coming up for the week ahead or not, but there is a path with money that is waiting for you to find it. But the thing is, is once you find the path, you have to take action towards the path. You can't just sit there and think about it. This one just fell out. Could be dealing with a Gemini. What do we have for Aries? Three, three, three. This is your prayers have been heard. This is the answer to your prayers. It's time to make a decision, a definite decision. Threes are about expansion. They are about growth. They're about decisive action, taking decisive action. Join us. Join us. This could be a group situation. Um, three, three, three. That's the answer to your prayers. Your prayers have been heard. So it's like your prayers have been heard. They're giving you a path to money. The lovers, I mean, the Gemini's, Gemini is a lover's card, right? There's an unexpected choice in love. You have to make a choice. There's consequences for your choice. You can choose to stay where you're at or you can choose to another option. There's obviously a spiritual connection here. It doesn't have to be with a Gemini. Gemini reminds me of the lover's card. Also the magician card, which is take action to bring success. You have the power to have, be successful, but you have to act. You have to act. This is the answer to your prayer. So you do have some, some, some sort of prayers that have been heard. And there's a union here. There's an opportunity for a partnership with somebody that you are spiritually connected to. Okay. Seven of, so seven of Swords. This is Seven of Swords. It's actually the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is defending yourself in a position, in a tough position. You may be in a tough position this week where you are standing your ground on some sort of situation or you need to fight for something. You may need to fight. You may need to put up a fight. You may need to defend yourself. Jeez, I'm getting cold. I haven't been cold all day. I don't know what's going on here. World reverse, lack of success, damn. So the world reverse is unsuccessful. That's lazy, lacking goals, lack of will, refusing to explore new avenues, stuck in the present, entitled, refusing to listen to anyone, an attitude adjustment is needed. You're not learning from your mistakes. No positive change is coming because there's too much resistance. A phase of your life is over. It's time to step forward. It's time to stop going backwards. You're resisting change. That's what this is. Mm. So there's no success. The world card reverse is lack of success. And it's like, I'm going to stand in this position. I'm going to maintain my position. And I'm not going to be successful. I'm going to be caught off guard. going to be poked. going to be questioned. You're going to have... You got too many irons in the fire. You got too much going on. There's so much going on. There's no success. 
Flogging the dead horse. Damn. Star upright underneath. So strength. Nine of pentacles. Ten of swords in your future. Two of cups reversed. Ace of pentacles reversed. Damn. Chariot. Overall outcome. Ooh, three of cups reversed. Let's get one more card to go with that. That's parting ways. Parting ways from friends or family, dashed expectations, parting ways from a relationship. There's gossip. There's a third party situation. People are talking. Uh, oh, oh, the overall outcome. And the Three of Cups is parting ways, it's dashed expectations, it's a termination. It is a termination, there's a lack of emotional growth, the party is over, the third party is over. It's walking away from a third party, somebody, either it's you or them, okay? The card clarifying it. The Empress reversed. Lack of growth, lack of nurturing. Um, whew! Jeez, I'm crawling, it just about made me throw up. It did too. The Empress reversed. That's no growth, no nurturing, not, not putting in any effort, doesn't care. And down there in your outside influence is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is a lost opportunity. Somebody that you are dealing with is giving up or they're throwing it away. They're not giving. They're not. This is your outside influence. Whoever you are dealing with is they're not investing. They're giving up. They're, they're letting it go. They're letting it go. They're letting the goal, they're letting the opportunity go. They're throwing it away. They don't want it anymore. So I'm wondering if you're dealing with somebody that is, this is a missed opportunity. Maybe you've missed an opportunity with somebody. There is a separation here. Two of cups reverse. There's no harmony. There's no reciprocation. This is an unhappy couple not seeing eye to eye. A lost opportunity. Somebody is, is letting something go. They're letting go of a partnership. Right underneath that Ace of Pentacles reverse is a two of two cups reverse. So that's not compatible. There's no reciprocation, right? Not seeing eye to eye. In your future is the Ten of Swords, which is, you know, this is the death. This is an it's over. This is goodbye. Okay, that is goodbye. This is a breakdown. It's a catastrophe. It's the death of a situation. Um, it's over. It's over. And I I Something is ending. It's a blessing in disguise, though, because the whole focus is the focus of this reading. The whole basis of this reading is the star card. It's about your dreams. It's about your dreams. It's about your wish fulfillment. It's about you getting following your dreams, right? It's like you've been wishing and hoping and praying. And we had those threes. You've been hoping and wishing and praying for what? Abundance? Yeah, because mirroring that is the nine of pentacles. Okay, they're right underneath each other, okay? So this is abundance. You've been hoping and praying to live that good life, the abundant life, right? I want abundance. I want to have it all. I want to have it easy. You know, I want to have an easy life, right? Who doesn't, right? That's, how, that's abundant. The Nine of Pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's abundant, single, grateful, independently owned and operated. <coughs> and this is, this is hoping and praying and wishing, wishing for that abundance, but it goes, Queen Nine of Pentacles, world reversed, then the star. Okay, the world reverse is in the middle. The world reverse is lack of success. Okay, it's a lack of success, resisting change, unable to take a new approach, unwilling to, too much resistance, flogging a dead horse, stuck in the present, will not listen to any advice, will not complete the previous phase, stuck. Stuck, entitled, an attitude adjustment. Somebody here is just unwilling. They're unwilling to leave something behind. Re maintaining their position where there's no success. Okay, there's no success or there's a lack of success. Defending and being questioned and poked and, you know... Attacked. It feels like you're being attacked. 
Oh my God. It really doesn't make me feel good at all. Um, strength is in the past, the strength card. Well, have you lost your strength? You've lost your courage? You know how to be strong, right? You have it in you. But it's gonna take perseverance and hard work. That's the Nine of Pentacles presently. I think that you're hoping and praying for abundance, but you're un and you're, or more money or more security or something like that, but you're not getting what you want because you have to be open to taking a new approach. That world card reverse is right underneath it. You're gonna have, and right beside the world card reverse, world is a major ending, okay? Not learning in reverse, not learning from previous mistakes, okay? Really. But right next to it is the Ten of Swords. So that is the end. It's the end of a painful goodbye. It is a painful goodbye. It's suffering. It's being defeated. Um, I wonder if there's some sort of betrayal here, you know, hitting the ground. This is the, this is like as low as you can go. I don't know what's going on, but this is like suffering. It's the end. I mean, I mean, this is definitely being stabbed right in the back. And I feel like there is somebody here that is stabbing you in the back because I have that seven of wands, which is under attack. It feels like you're being attacked. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that you can't trust. I know that you are, but whatever. You have to learn that lesson for yourself now, don't you? Whatever. Anyhow, uh, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. This is about your dreams. This is all happening because you have dreams, right? You have dreams. So that's what the basis of this reading is. Uh, your advice. This is your advice position. You know, the, two, the advice position is the two of cups reverse. That's separate. Okay, this is a breakup. This is disharmony, it's a disconnection. It's, a, it's uh, an argument, a breakup, a separation, ending a partnership or a friendship. There's some sort of abuse. There's some sort of uh, incompatibility here. Your advice is to let that partnership go. Above it is the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Whoever you are dealing with, I think they've already let go. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles reverse. They're not giving you anything solid. They're not bringing you any abundance. It's not long term. Whoever you're dealing with right now, this is not long term. It's not abundant. It's not secure. It's not the, something you can put in a bank. It's not ha affecting your bank account in a positive manner. Separate. This is conflict disconnection, not compatible, not meant to be. <sighs> but flogging that dead horse, maintaining your position. And maybe you thrive on challenge, right? You just love to be challenged, right? The end, we have a death here, we do. <laughs> Ten of Swords is in your near future. That is the end. This is like hitting the ground. It is a breakdown. Could be a mental breakdown. There's no success or a lack of success. Or there's some sort of betrayal here from a partner, maybe. Or somebody's letting you go. Maybe you got somebody that's letting you go. The chariot is moving. That is in the hopes and fears position. That is getting in the driver's seat and going somewhere. Facing the opposition, packing up, mastering emotions, finding the discipline and the willpower to go. So somebody is going somewhere. They're traveling. They're going somewhere. But the overall outcome is the Empress reverse and the Three of Cups. You may be dealing, if you're a man or a masculine that is watching this, you may be dealing with a woman that doesn't know what love is. She's not an Empress. She ain't. not even compatible it's not it's not 
Mm. She's selfish. There's a woman here that is selfish. She doesn't take care of things. She doesn't nurture things. She doesn't grow things. She's needy. She's high maintenance. She's self-absorbed. She's mean-spirited. She doesn't give freely. She only gives with expectation. She doesn't really like children. She may not even like your children. She don't like your children. She don't even like her own. Uh, materialistic. Very, very materialistic. Um, parting ways. Three of Cups, uh, parting ways from a relationship, friend, or, or may even have, you may even have some mother issues here. We may, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, or somebody that here that doesn't know what love is because they weren't taken care of by their mother. So they seek, they seek out people that are going to mistreat them because that's all they know. I feel like this week you're going to be a path with money is waiting for you to find it. You have to find your courage and your confidence and your willpower. That's very clear to go in that direction. You're going to have to defend yourself. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. If you want abundance in your life, you're probably going to have to separate from somebody that is not giving you reciprocation or they're not nurturing you or they're not taking care of you or they're not giving. You know, there's depth. Definitely somebody here that's not giving. They're not. It feels like you have dreams. You have dreams. You have, you know, wishes that are they're trying to fulfill. But you have to end something. That, oh, Ten of Swords is the end. Okay, that is in the future. That's, that's the end. Whoever you're dealing with, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is letting go. They are. It's like they're I'm not this is we can't fight gravity. If it's not being taken, it's gonna be it's gonna go away. And, it, and if you think about it, there's an opportunity for abundance. Okay, with that nine of pentacles. Right now, right now, you have an opportunity for abundance. You you have a skill. Okay, you have some sort of skill that can make you money. That you some of you could are have like this is like an entrepreneur, a business person, you know, that has skills to create a business or, you know, to create their own prosperity. You have that skill, but <laughs> there's some sort of defense in standing or staying in a position that you need to remove yourself from. There's a lack of growth. And we also have a woman here that doesn't know her value or, or she's overly protective or she's very needy. There could be even some infidelity here with the uh, Empress reversed. Lack of growth, lack of mothering, lack of nurturing, a loss, a loss of a friendship, loss of a relationship. You're lo you, may be, you may have a woman here that is not giving love anymore. Maybe she's given up. She's like, fuck you. Sorry. Anyhow, um, seriously. Ah, oh, boy. Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is a new project, right? It's a new project, it's a new endeavor, it's a new enterprise. This is starting over from scratch, going down a new path, broadening your horizons. You are going to be receiving an opportunity, okay? This is an opportunity to start a new project or start a new enterprise. This could be a new job. This is an, an opportunity. It's like you have an opportunity. You're going to be given the opportunity. You could be the one that's proposing the opportunity. This is an opportunity to start a new project or something like that, okay? It's not going to be easy. It's gonna, there's hard work ahead, but this is, this is where you find your focus. You find your backbone. You decide to stick with a task because you know, you know that it's going to lead to long-term abundance. You know that it's going to lead to stability. You know that it's going to lead to something permanent. That's what this is. So I think this is a moment where somebody finds their backbone 
to rise and take charge. So I do think that you probably are going to... Hmm, well, that chariot is getting the driver's seat that is taking charge, taking the reins, leaving something behind. It is. The chariot is a warrior, okay? This is a, a fighter. And I do see that you are a fighter. You definitely are a fighter. So if you want success, if you want abundance, you're going to have to work for it. And that means accepting change. And with the world card reversed, it's like you need to accept and cut your losses and just move on from this situation where you have so much going on. I can see that with the seven of wands. It's like you got so much going on. It's crazy. Well, if you're not getting any help from your partner, well, <laughs> that sucks. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. You have to protect yourself. You have to do what's right for you. What is this Ten of Swords? One more card. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is this is overcommitted yourself. You've committed yourself. You have to make a choice. The end. The end of playing games. Okay. This is this juggling is a game. And who play who plays games? Player. Okay, so this a player plays games. Juggling is a game. So what does this Ten of Swords reverse? The Ten of Swords is the end of playing games. You have to make a choice. You're lacking balance. You're making a poor financial. This is poor financial decisions. Overwhelmed, overextending yourself. Too much going on. There's no contingency plan. This is like a financial mess. There's, a, there's financial problems here. There is. There's financial strife. There's, there is. And I feel like you're struggling. You're really, really struggling. And it's because you have to be able to make a change. That's, that's where strength comes in. It's, you have to find your strength. You need to find your courage. You need to find your willpower. Okay? You need to hold your head up high. You need to be proud of who you are. You need to do what's right for you. You have it in you. You've done it before. The end. The end of playing games. You can't play games. You can't play games. And maybe that's what this is, you know. Some people that have pl been a player their whole life, you know, it's really hard to stop playing, isn't it? So, anyhow, um... Empress reverse. This is a loss. We definitely have a loss here. It's a, and we do. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Losing a golden opportunity. Maybe this Empress in reverse is the one that's parting ways. Maybe she's like, you know, not going to give love to somebody who doesn't deserve it. Empress in reverse, no love. Parting ways. Good luck. 